Hello, today I am going to provide some of the best example to understand about this iter and this next method. So right here, I am going to have some variable and this variable is going to store a list of numbers. So this list is going to have some numbers like 9, 7 and 8 and after this let us start using this next method so let us check whether this iterator is having this next method or not so this list object doesn't have this attribute so so i'm getting this attribute error and with some trace back so to use this next method you might need some iterator and this iterator can have these type of methods or attributes and so because of that let us have some variable like some new list and i'm going to call this function and this function takes some collections collection and finally this function will return this iterator and I'm going to store this iterator in some type of variable and after doing that I am I can able to use this next and this function will take this list and now let's run this program so this happens because this is not iterator because you can see I'm providing this variable so instead of this let us provide this iterator so I'm getting this value so if you want to understand more about this function you can have this document like so this iterator and this document and you can have this document and every time this function will return this iterator so let us have this statement again and again and let's run this program so I'm having these three integers and what if you are having this statement again and I'm getting this type of error like I need to stop doing this iteration and so this iteration happens uh, by using this next and for this I'm having this error so this is some basic way to understand this iter and this next and let us have some another example so let's have these two things right here and now let us have some variable so this variable is going to store these type of values and we know that these things will return some elements inside this list and I'm going to store these elements in some variable. So let's have this right here. And now I'm going to use this while loop. And this while is going to check for this variable value. And if suppose we're having some number in this variable other than a value zero, if we have a value zero this while loop is this while is not going to create a loop and if we have some number a loop is going to be created and at first I'm going to print this variable and after that I'm going to update this variable like initially this is going to return this value 9 so initially this variable is going to have a value 9 and if you have this statement again this is going to return some another value or next value or we can say it as a forward value and every time I'm going to store that in this variable and every time this while loop is going to check that and if this condition is true I'm going to print this value and let's run this program so right here I'm actually calling this statement so 
because of that i am getting this stop iteration so if this happens let us start using this error handling like let us start using this keyword so i'm going to try these two statements and if suppose i'm getting any type of error right here let us start using this except and most of the cases i will get this stop iteration as some si and i'm just going to print some statement like error and this value as si and finally i'm going to use this keyword and this is going to stop this while loop so now let's run this program and now i'm not getting any type of trace back or any type of error name i'm just getting this type of statement so that's why we are saying this as some error handling so let's have this right here so if you want to understand more about this line like while loop of the set a number let us have some example like if suppose i'm having a variable like condition and let this condition have a value 12 and this while is going to check for this condition and it is going to so at first i'm going to print this condition and i'm going to increment this condition by one and if this condition is equal to some value as 19 i'm going to make this condition as zero so let's run this program so i'm getting until this 19 if suppose this is 19 this condition will be is going to stop right here so this is one another example otherwise you can check initially like if suppose so every time it is a good thing like at first case you need to check for certain errors and if you are having certain errors we need to stop there so in the same way right here if this condition is 19 you can have either this break so if you have in this condition right here so at first let's run this program so i'm getting the same value again so this is some set an example to understand about this while and some numbers so now so now i'm going to create a new class and this class will have this type of methods like iter and this next and right here i'm going to have some iterable so this is actually a class and when i'm going to call this class this class is going to take certain arguments and that argument is controlled by this constructor and this constructor is a type of method so at first i'm going to provide some iterable and some index so let this be having a default value as zero so let this be a pass so right here i'm going to have some class variable and i'm going to call this class and at first place i'm going to provide certain iterable like five six and four and if you are not providing any type of value for this thing this will have a value zero so now let us provide some statements like so let us have this 
iterable above and this will have this argument value and also I'm going to have some index and this index will have this argument value and after doing this let us create this iter so this is just going to return this self and after that I'm going to have this next and this is also not going to take any type of argument as this method does and so when I'm going to call this next so at first case I'm I need to check whether I'm going to get any type of error or not so every time you can see here when I'm going to call this type of methods I'm getting these type of errors so at first I need to check that like so I'm going to start moving from this index 0 and I'm going to stop at this iterator and so instead of having this you can provide this direct value so let this be 0 and right here if this self dot index is same as this length of this self dot iterable so make sure this name and this name must be same and so if this happens I'm going to raise this stop iteration and right here I'm going to have some variable and this variable is going to have some value from this list and so this is a iterator so it is it must have some index and based on that index this is going to return some type of value present inside this index so let this be self dot index and after doing this let this self dot index increment by a value 1 and finally I am going to return this variable and if you do this let us print this class variable and I am going to use this next method and let's run this program so I'm having a value 5 and so you don't have to use this function like this iter and you can directly start using this next and so this is based on our condition like we can provide any type of condition you needed you needed right here and let us have this for four time because we are having this next so the we are actually having these three values and at first let us check all these values so I'm getting this and if suppose I'm having this statement and now I'm getting this error so this is going to raise this error and so this is for this iterable and so let's make this as a comment and now let us start using this for loop for value in this class variable and let's print this value so I'm having these three value again so iterable can be used in this for loop so let's have this right here so you can see here this provides these type of values and we are actually moving 
from forward to this last place and what if we want to move from this last place to this first place and how to do that so you need to provide some another statements right over here so now we know that we are moving from this last place to this starting place and instead of this index let us have this length of this argument minus one so this length is actually value three so I'm having this value as three so three minus one will be two so maximum index is two because index starts from a value zero and this is one and this is two so we need to decrement its index and if this index is minus one I'm going to have this stop iteration and so at first let's run this program so you can see here I'm having this 5 6 and this 7 but here I'm getting in reverse direction like at first place I'm having this value as 4 and 5 and after I'm having this value as a 6 so this happens also in this for loop So let's check for this next and let's run this program. So I'm having this 4, 6 and 5 without any type of errors and so this is going to raise this stop iteration. So this means that this for loop is going to check for this stop iteration. This means that this for loop is going to stop when we have this stop iteration. So this is, let us name this class as reverse because we are moving from this last place to this first place. So instead of having all this thing, you suppose I'm having this statement again and I'm getting this type of error. And now let us start using this error handling so I'm going to try all this statement and we know that I'm going to get this type of error and I'm going to use this keyword so this has to be stop iteration as si and I'm going to print some statement like error as this si and let's run this program so I'm not getting any type of trace back or any type of errors I'm getting only this statement and you know that after having this error this all statement is going to stop so this all statement is not going to work and finally in all these statements we don't have any other return type so let us return some value like stopped otherwise let this be a value as minus one and let's run this program so I'm having this as minus one and if suppose I need some type of statement right here and if you want that you need to provide that statement beside these type of errors and this is saying that this is stop iteration and let's run this program 
so I'm getting that statement right over here and this means that whatever you're providing these statements inside these brackets all this value is going to come at this place so I'm having that statement right over here so this next is not going to is going to provide this type of errors if we have this this thing so this is for this reverse class and so today I have talked about this iter and this function will return some type of iterator and this iterator can have this next method so we can use that and we can have these type of statements like if suppose you are having many numbers in this list you don't have to use these type of statements again and again so you must need some type of while loop to have to print all these values if you are using this next and otherwise you can use a for loop so this is how you can use this error handling when you have these type of statements or when you have this type of errors and when this error is occurred these statements is going to work like it is going to stop this while loop and come into this class I have created these methods and these methods will have these type of statements so this iter will have only this thing but main thing here is this next will have some conditions or some type of syntax or some type of statements so based on these statements we are getting these all values from any type of iterator and coming to this place I am starting moving from this last place to this first place so because of that this index or initial index will have this final value and so this index is 2 but this value is going to provide a value as 3 so you can see here I'm getting this length as 3 or we can say it as we have 3 numbers in this list and I'm going to reduce by 1 because I need only this index value so this happens because this index starts from 0 and this will be a value 2 and finally we can use this next right here and you don't need to use this function and after that you need to have this thing you can create your own next method and this next method can have any type of statement you needed it can have this statement or it can have some another statement like some error handling and these type of statements So I think that is for today and see you again. Bye bye.